Well, we were married in June 2005, and it was a perfect, beautiful Colorado day. The most critical thing wasn't there at our wedding, which was Christ, and he wasn't a part of our life at all. And little did we know at that time that we were creating our marriage from day one on a faulty foundation, and we especially didn't know that eight to 10 years later, it would be tested. We both made some, some big mistakes, and we, didn't, we were not respecting the vows that we had made to each other, and, and it was hurting. We knew that if we were gonna survive this, um, if we were not gonna become some marital statistic, that something had to change. We had been coming to Cherry Hills for probably a few months, and they had offered to anyone to come down to the front after service. And so we looked at each other. I was crying at the end of services. And uh, we were prayed over and met with just open hearts. And then we were introduced to someone from the pastoral care team who got us to see that we could believe and trust in God, um, and that to have God at the center of our marriage and of our family was was going to be one of the single most important decisions we could make. A um, number of months later after that, on November 23rd, which um, happened to be my 36th birthday, we were baptized together. And um, I guess it, it was sort of more symbolic to us than even our wedding day because of who was there with us that day and because we were forgiven. It was a chance for us to seal the past and move on to the next chapter. And so without looking back, we were able to just fully heal and move forward. Since we got baptized, the last six months have been the most peaceful we've ever had in our marriage. But I think it was a mark in time for us, a, a day when we can say, no regrets, move forward, and now we are, we believe in Jesus, we believe in God, and we're walking together through this life. I think for me, I just felt like it was the last step, where we had already forgiven each other, we were doing, you know, had recreated our value system with Christ at the center, but this to me was the last step in completely moving forward and washing away everything in the past. It's amazing in the year that we've um, really started this walk, how, how our lives have changed and the community of people that we now are a part of. And when we walk into to Cherry Hills, we, there's hugs for everyone and you see people that you didn't know went there and go there and it's just, it feels like our universe of faith continues to grow every time we walk into the forest.